back to the IQ session, round the corner, Terry Hall of the Specials and Craig Gannon from the Smiths. Hello, me. Classical gaff set, it's like classical gaff set, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Can't stick the sound here, yeah? Yeah, we can sit face. Right. Drinks first. What do you want, coffees? Uh, white coffee with sugar, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. White coffee just with milk, please. <laughs> Two thirty-eights and... Uh, one without, without, without uh, one with sugar. Is it? Two yours with sugar? Yeah. So mine, 238 and whatever the one is, one out sugar, coffee, white. 238 and one with sugar. Yeah. 238 and one without sugar. Eh? Hey? It's 238 and one without. No, I'm without. 38 no, and one without. 38 and without. Don't, if you don't know your numbers, don't put in right. It's no. 38. Manchester thing, isn't it? Yeah. We know our numbers. Terry wants sugar. Yeah. We'll have 38, sure the one that's not a 38. Maybe it's a 48, got it. 30, two 38s and a 48. Yeah. So what, when's the single out? When's the single out? Which is when? A week on Monday. This is going out Sunday yeah. night, so Sorry. it's out tomorrow, your album, Terry. Did you get that? Right. Sunday right, night. Right. Your single's out a week tomorrow. And coffee with without sugar's 38. Yeah, and... <laughs> no, you're 40. Have you got your coffees? Did you get them? No. Yeah. I'm here again. Ah. Right. See you later. Right. Right. Cheers, Pete. See you. Right. See you again. Nice one. <laughs> the chain. <laughs> Can I get down? Yeah. So what are you working on there, Jeff? Just stuff the first line. Just any old nonsense. We're just going to talk about the Mad Cafe, so I'm just working on a list. list of entertainment that will be there tomorrow night. And you should do your own work on the bus. <laughs> I never used to do my own work. You got to take a pole out of this? No, it'll be alright. Oh, shit, that morning, I just blinked then as well. It's alright. That's wacky at school, you used to have wacky glasses and a wacky Hawaiian That's shirt. I used to walk around being dead zany. And then somebody took me to one side and said, Jeff, don't be ridiculous. Have I paid you for today's first joke? Can I, have you got me first, yeah, there's some good money there, yeah, first link. Just give me the cheers. Thank you very much. Number five, Pam Anson's torso is filled with snails. There you go. Five things you never knew about Pamela Anderson. Now, you're not going to make us look bloody pale on these photographs, are you? Like you, Paul, on that. Because as you can see, we're full of health and vitality, me and Jeff. No, we can spice you up. We're going to be purple anyway, so. What? Mm. Fucking purple. It's not been purple for ages. <laughs> I was uh, an academic, I was well behaved, I was uh, a model pupil, wasn't I, I guess? He was the one who smelled of urine that nobody would sit there. <laughs> and I was one of the pigeon mob. <laughs> Show me your tattoo. It's Man United, but my skin stretch as I've got older. <laughs> and this is the... Uh, this is the best one. This is P for pigeon. See that? What we had to do, like the initiation ceremony at school, we had to uh, sort of go into the kitchen and pick up a mug of coffee with our wrists like that. <laughs> like David Cameron, and, then, like <laughs> and take it over to the dining table. <laughs> when we first started, right, what, what was what was the first thing that sticks in your mind that you remember starting? What, I know what, what it was. The, the thing that struck me the most, right, it was most impressive and I thought it was big time radio, right? Um, one of the first things I did was My you. slick presentation? No, no, it's nothing to do with you. My knowledge of music? No. The way I put the programme together? No. Right. <laughs> My wit humour? No, definitely not. Right. Well, are you happy today? I'll tell you what makes me Go happy. On. I thought of crowds of fully grown men chanting and shouting in a happy fashion. Lovely ladies running riot and doubling up with chiming laughter. Singing, dancing, comedy, bright lights, loud music, passionate kissing, full and partial nudity, sacrificing goldfish, a people's revolution and jambo from TV's Hollyoaks. Yes, what makes me happy is the Mad Cafe sold out at Granada Studios. Oh, fantastic, that makes you happy, yeah? George Michael, that's a big one, wasn't Why? it? Well, it's such a big name, isn't it? It's like one of the biggest names of the last 15 years or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello, everybody! There's still that real life we're filming, actually. Steve Barnes, general manager, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, his wife, lovely wife. <laughs> I'm their son. <laughs> well, it's quite natural the amount of time we spent together. Um, it's worse than a marriage, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's like we're like brothers. We had um, classic fallout, what was it, about three no weeks way. ago? Are you ready? Are you going to come aboard? Hey, come on. Are you ready? 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 Are you ready?
I'm only ready. I'm only pigging well ready. When uh, Jeff said he didn't want to work with me. This was actually on air. You, you told me, Pete, right, after I'd been, for the last, for two or three weeks prior to this, right, I've been working till generally about 11, 12, 1 in the morning. Like working really late. Pete is telling lies, man. Pete that. told me, I am not telling lies. Pete told me I was slack and lazy. <laughs> People all over the world, join us, start a wolf train, wolf train. So I, I said, I can't believe you said that to me. I don't want to work with you anymore. Um, so he's, so he's people, stormed out, but um, I didn't storm out. You went off your head, threw my coat and my bag out of the studio. Told but me you to get refused out, to leave. Go upstairs and resign. <laughs> the next stop that we make will be with and sure. Oh, all right, all right then. Yeah, great, biggest council estate in Europe. That's <laughs> what you told me. But I refused to leave, and I, he ended up forced his way back in. People all over the world, join us. Start a love train, love train. As we were arguing, right, as of like having a tussle saying, get out, I don't want to work with you anymore, and that, there's some tour came past the window, <laughs> and I said to Lordy, smile! Let this train keep on riding, riding on through. Let this train keep on riding, where were you back in vocals, though? It's very funny. The hindsight. Yeah. People all over the world, join us. Can you tell everybody how, how much you actually spoke on that show, Jeff, to George Martin? I don't know about... froze, didn't you? No, at you first... Scared again, to death of George Michael, you were scared to death I wasn't of scared of him. He kept snarling at me, <laughs> <laughs> I was a little scared of that, obviously. Yep, and uh, Roy from Salemore, who, yes, is a real person who walks streets of Salemore. Right. It's a nice hot day. Yeah. And this bloke comes walking up to me. Right. Asking me, mithering me, to take him for a pint over at the Britain's Protection Pub. Right. Oh, yeah. So, my mate that was on spare with me, he says, keep him talking a minute. He says, I recognise him. Yeah. I looked at the corner of Moses Street and there's three heads. <laughs> sort of like the three stooges, you know, one on top of the other. Is he taking far too much medication right now? Come on, right. <laughs> Go on, yeah, three heads yeah. on top of each other. So, I talked this bloke over and I said, come on, I said, I'll take you for the pint now. And I got him round the corner. And it was three coppers. <laughs> and he dived on top of him, right, handcuffed him, and threw him in the back of the van. And I said, hey, I said, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? And he went, oh, you're all right, mate, cheers. So and he just drove off, so I went back to my mate. <laughs> and I said, I said, how do you know him? He says, oh, he said, he was in the evening news last night, he says he was a, a mad axe man, he said, escape from a, you know, a murderer. <laughs> escape from a murderer. You're a hero. Honestly, this is You're honestly, super you Roy. You capture a mad axe man. <laughs> I didn't capture him, I thought he was all right. <laughs> <laughs>